Hey, welcome back everyone. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your instructor for this Azure Fundamentals examination course. In this lesson, we're going to talk about Azure governance methodologies and one of the governance methodology is to create and use Azure policies. So we're going to talk about what is Azure policy. In this objective, we will learn about how to create and apply these policies and control and audit resources after creation. Azure policy is a service in Azure that you can use to create, assign, and manage policies. These policies enforce different rules and effects over your resources. So those resources stay compliant with your corporate standard and standard SLS. Azure policies does this by using policies and initiatives. It runs evaluations of your resources and scans for those non-compliant with the policies you have created. For example, if you have a policy to allow only a certain SKU size of virtual machines in your environment, once you implement this policy, it evaluates resources when you create new ones or update existing ones. It also evaluates your existing resources as well. Azure Policies comes with a number of built-in policies. When I take you through the walkthrough on the next video, you're going to see all these built-in policies come by default with Azure Policies. So you can pick any of these built-in policy and initiate definition that you can use under categories such as storage, networking, compute, security center, and monitoring. Azure policies can also integrate with your Azure DevOps by applying any continuous integration and delivery pipeline policies that apply to your pre-deployment and post-deployment for your application. Azure policies can automatically remedy resources and configuration that are deemed non-compliant. There are three steps to creating and implementing an Azure policy. The first step is called create a new policy definition. A policy definition expresses what to evaluate and what actions to take. For example, you could prevent a VM from being deployed if they are exposed to a public IP address. Every policy definition has containers under which it is being enforced. Things like allowed, things like allowed SKUs, allowed resource type, allowed locations, allowed virtual machine SKUs, etc. The second stage of implementing Azure policy is assigning a definition to scope of your resources. To implement your policy definitions, you assign them to resources. A policy assignment is a policy definition that has been assigned to take place within the specific scope. This specific scope could range from a management group to a resource group. Policy assignments are inherited by all child resources. This means that if a policy is applied to a resource group, it is applied to all resources within that resource group. However, you can exclude a subscope from a policy assignment. And finally, you will review the policy evaluation results. When a condition is evaluated against your existing resources, it is marked compliant or non-compliant. You can review the non-compliant policy results and take action that is needed. And these policy initiatives work with Azure policies. The first one is initiate definition and second one is initiate assignments. An initiate definition is a set of policy definition to help track your compliance state for a larger goal. Like a policy assignment, an initiate assignment is an initiative definition assigned to a specific scope. Initiative assignment reduces the need to make several initiative definitions for each scope. The scope could range from a management group to a resource group. Now that we have learned about what is Azure policy and what are the built-in policies come with it and the benefits of applying these policies, let's go and find out how this Azure policy looks like in the Azure portal. 
So I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.